It's such a joy to be a part of the Hunts Point Alliance for Children, and I want to say thank you to our families who are here this evening, to our team, to our board, and to our community partners for coming out and celebrating with us this evening in person. Um, we have a slogan at HPAC, create culture, cultivate community. Um, community is one of my biggest personal values, and one thing I love about being a part of the HPAC team is seeing how we build community. We build community, as you've seen through the video this evening, through our educational programs, like literacy um, through science, <clears throat> and our Shakespeare Ensemble, which you'll see them perform in a bit, right over here. And we also build community through our post-secondary success program, and that's for our college scholars. And these great programs help change the lives of Hunts Point children, from our youngest learners to our college scholars. The HPAC team, we do great work. And we do great work because of our strong relationships. And that's one of the main words I heard um, throughout my interview process. I've only been with Hunts Point Alliance for Children since December. I and mean, since December, that's the same word I keep hearing coming up from our community partners, from our board members, um, from our team. That relationships, that's what makes our, our brand and who we are special and strong. And so with our strong relationships and our great work, we can also report excellent results. Like 100% of our participants graduate from high school and college on time. And we can <laughs> pause for that. Thank you very much. Later this evening, you're going to hear from Michael Amoa, one of our college scholars who's now attending Miami University and who will graduate in 2023. And he's going to share his personal story with you. And later this evening, in order to continue this great work, you'll get to participate in a paddle raise, which will allow you to, which will allow you to, um, uh, to um, raise money, help us raise money for our high school scholarship program. After the paddle raise, you'll get to mix and mingle. And at the end of the night, you're going to get the best gift bag ever. You can give yourself a round of applause for that. And in the gift bag, it's our way of showing our appreciation to you. Um, in the bag, it's going to be a sweet treat. I have to tell you this, because a sweet treat contains alcohol. <laughs> um, but where I'm from, it's a special tradition. I'm from Barbados originally, and it's a special tradition um, when we have a special celebration, and tonight is a very special celebration, is to give out great cake or rum cake. Um, and for this special celebration, I want to make sure that you know that we're thankful for you to make it, for attending this special event this evening and for being a part of our community. Um, and I also want to thank you for helping us to continue to, to continue to do our great work with your contribution during the paddle race. And we can say thank you to my mom for making the, the rum cake this evening. Um, <laughs> And it's, it's, it's officially um, filled with uh, rum from Barbados, so it's official, official cake for you this evening to enjoy once you go home. And on that note, I want you to enjoy the rest of the program and the rest of the evening, and I'm going to call Carl back up to the stage and pass the mic back to Carl. Thank you, Natasha. Please make some more noise for Natasha, please. A lot of hard work going into tonight's evening. I have the pleasure um, now to introduce our performers uh, of the evening from the Hunts Point Children's Shakespeare Ensemble. In collaboration with the Public Theater, these students, ranging from fourth to sixth grade, work the entire school year alongside educators and professionals to present a fully produced Shakespeare performance to the New York City community every spring. This program gives students the chance to develop literary skills, make new friends, and build confidence along the way. Please enjoy this performance from our talented Shakespeare scholars, and please make some noise until they get to the stage! Alas, 
Their love may be called appetite. No motion of the liver, but the palate, that suffers surfeit, employment, and revolt. But mine is all as hungry as the sea, and can digest as much. Make no compare between that love a woman can bear me and that I owe Olivia. Oh, what a deal of scorn looks beautiful in the contempt and anger of his lip. Cesario, by the roses of the spring, by maiden, truth and everything, I love thee so that despite all thy pride, nor wit nor reason can my passion hide. Yet come again, for thou perhaps may move thy heart, which now abhors to like his love. Mm. I love no ring with her. What means this lady? Fortune forbid my outside have not charmed her. Hmm. She made good view of me. She loves me, sure. None of my lords reign. Why, he sent her none. I am the man. And if it be so, as tis, poor lady, she were better love a dream. Disguise, I see, thou art a wickedness. How will this fadge? My master loves her dearly, and I, poor monster, fond as much on him. She, mistaken, seems to do on me. What will become of this? As I am man, my state is desperate for my master's love. But as I am woman, now alas the day, what thrift this side shall poor Olivia breathe? O oh, time! Thou must untangle this, not I. It is too hard a knot for me to untie. Oh, come on. Let's give another round of applause for our Shakespeare ensemble. Next, I would love to introduce our Hunts Point Community Partnership Director, Deliana Mora, who will be presenting our Community Partner Award this evening. Make some noise for Deliana. everybody, my name is Deliana and I am the Hunt Point Community Partnership Director and it is with great joy and pleasure that I get to introduce to you guys one of our honorees. So this year we will be honoring a community partner that has worked hard for the Hunt Point and Longwood community. Especially during a point, during the pandemic where they had a deep need um, during and in its aftermath. They provided us with thousands of groceries and cooked food for the community, meeting a huge need during a time where families were not able to produce for their families or produce any groceries. Every time we reached out to this partner, they never hesitated to support and nurture the community and events. She has made a difference in so many lives, and so today we honor Shana McCormick. Hey. From Rap for Bronx. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause as she comes to accept her award. Thank you. Thank you. It is an honor to be here and to be recognized as a community partner for the Hunts Point Alliance for Children. Um, I first found out about the Hunts Point Alliance for Children um, from one of our first volunteers at Rap for Bronx. So in March of 2020, when we first began, packing pantry bags and getting food ready to distribute to the communities. Monique Farrington, who is a part of the HPAC family, was one of our very first volunteers, came Tyvek suited up and ready to go. Um, and after hearing and learning about the amazing work that you guys do here at HPAC, we knew that we had to pool resources and we'll be a partner for life to help further your mission and our mission, because this work cannot be done alone. We're stronger together, so I'm very honored to be here tonight. Thank you for the work that HVAC does. Thank you. Thank you. Keep that love coming. Keep that love coming. Congratulations again to Rap for Bronx and all the lovely work you do for the Hunts Point community. Um, thanks, everyone, again for joining us tonight. Hopefully, you are drinking and eating well. Um, that is very important for, for today's event. Um, and I would love to kick it back to HPAC Executive Director to Nat Natasha Atkins, who will be presenting tonight's award for the Distinguished Honoree. Make some noise, please! <laughs> it's 
So it's my pleasure to introduce Ms. Deborah Monteperto, um, who, yes. <laughs> who's a partner of the Polk Wealth Management Group at Morgan Stanley and a managing director at the firm as well. Um, if you're curious about how HPAC came to honor Deborah, no one honor her. Um, from 2016 to 2020, Deborah was a member of our board. And through, our, through that relationship, remember I talked about relationships earlier, um, so through that relationship and her commitment to HPAC, uh, Deborah um, was able to forge a strong relationship, a strong partnership with Morgan Stanley that resulted um, in over $200,000 in donations and sponsorships. Uh, career development works, thank you. <laughs> career development workshops and financial literacy events for our scholars volunteers for HPAC's annual career day, um, young professionals that were engaged in our mentoring program, um, and al she also introduced us to Kana Nakajima, who's also on our board. Hi, Kana. <laughs> and so I spoke about building community and building relationships earlier, and our relationship with Deborah is an amazing one, um, and that, a one that helps us to continue to do the great work that we do. And so thank you, Deborah. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure. And join me in welcoming and congratulating Ms. Deborah Monteperto, our 2022 honorees. Thank you so much, Natasha. Creating hope and cultivating community. That's where it all begins. And that's the most important thing. And that exactly is HPAC's mission. When I think of the work that HPAC does, I think of the quote from the famous anthropologist Margaret Mead, and I don't want to screw this up, so I'm going to read it. She said, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. My, my involvement with HPAC began because of Michelle Icahn, our friend and a former board member. She introduced me to the mission and the work that you do, and together we came up with this plan to create a program for 7th and 8th graders to bring them to Morgan Stanley and to teach them about the financial industry and careers on Wall Street. Jamie was one of our presenters <laughs> back then, and the program was really well received out of that, we created some opportunities for internships. Eduardo Gomez was an 11th grade HPAC student. He was an intern with our team one summer. He was amazing, one of the best interns we've ever had. He was smart, hardworking, resourceful. He had great leadership skills. And Eduardo went on to Syracuse University where he's president of the fraternity and doing really, really well. But Eduardo is not the exception. Because of HPAC's work, there are more than 200 graduates that attend universities such as Stanford, Duke, SUNY Albany, and many, many others. When COVID hit, HPAC worked tirelessly to get grant money to continue the learning and the community programs. They did what they needed to do to survive. On March 28th, the organization was recognized by the New York Stock Exchange, they, ra they virtually rang the closing bell, which is an amazing honor for such a small group. The work that the team at HPAC does is truly inspiring, giving everyone from babies to grandparents across multi-generations opportunities and choices that they might never have had, leading to a belief in a better future. I am truly honored to accept this award on behalf of Morgan Stanley, but the true honorees are you all who work at HPAC. The love and commitment that you bring every day to the work you do is astounding. From the bottom of my heart, thank you very, very much. Congratulations again to Deborah. Keep making noise until Deborah has her seat, yeah? Thank you for your continued support. We truly appreciate it. Here at HPAC, our programming introduces students to new ideas, opportunities, and paths to the future. This past fall, we transitioned back 
to in-person programming and spent the year celebrating moments of togetherness with our scholars and our families. Despite a resilient year, more families than ever are in need of financial assistance for school tuition and many other things. And that need continues uh, for the 2022-2023 school year. Um, some things to consider. This year, HPAC spent over $55,000 in scholarships for Hunts Point students. Yeah, you can give some noise for that, for sure. And next year, we intend to, um, to increase that to even, to even more spending on our scholarships to $65,000 as tuition rates also increase every year. Uh, so will we in our, our relentless pursuit to bring education to our young people, right? So we are looking to raise our funds to $65,000 along with the help of individuals such as yourself. We'll get there shortly. Uh, the students who receive scholarships all live in the Hunts Point Longwood community and have been a part of the HPAC family for many years as you've been hearing all today. The majority joining the program through our elementary Shakespeare Ensemble, moving their way up through the storefront ensemble, whoop, whoop, and then finding their way to the high school programs in which they, are, uh, in which they work tirelessly to find their way into a university. Um, and we tire tirelessly work to support them through that process. Students receive scholarships to private um, and boarding schools, including Fordham Prep, Loyola School, Notre Dame School, Church Farm School, and All Hallows High School. Um, speaking of that, next I have the pleasure to introduce an esteemed alumni and former HPAC scholarship recipient, Michael Amoa. You can make some noise for Michael. <laughs> Michael is an upcoming senior at Miami University studying computer engineering and just recently traveled to Anaheim, California for the NSBE convention for aspiring engineers with the support of HPAC as he explores next steps in his aspiring career. Please join me in a round of applause to welcome alumni, Michael Amor. Thank you, everyone. Super excited to be here. I would like to um, first thank Natasha and um, Latoya for giving me the opportunity to share with you all um, what the Hunts Point Alliance program has done for me and basically get the opportunity to amplify the voices of the lives that they're changing in the Hunts Point community. Um, as um, was stated, my name is Michael Amwa. I'm a senior um, at Miami University studying computer engineering and minoring in humanitarian engineering. Um, and my journey with the Hunts Point Alliance program first started when I was in the seventh grade. Um, my vice principal gave me an application for one of uh, HPAC's program. It was a writing program and I knew that I didn't like writing and I didn't really have much interest in the program so I threw the application in the bottom of my book bag, hoping to never see it again, but uh, like all my failed report cards and bad grades, my mother got a hand of, uh, hold of the application and told me that I was gonna do it, so I ended up doing it, and thanks to her persistence and um, perseverance, I did the program and ended up loving it, and this was uh, the start of everything for me. Uh, my life really changed that moment. Um, I joined HPAC. I was given a support system that I desperately needed, um, and a lot of students in my position need in my community. Um, not only did I get the opportunity to receive a well-rounded education, but I also got the opportunity to do many things within my community. I got the opportunity to get involved. Um, HPAC got me rowing on the Bronx River, uh, creating 3D models, um, volunteering, educating students in my community through tutoring. Um, one of the jobs that I really, really love. Um, HPAC also connected me with um, Camp Sankity, uh, which is such a huge opportunity. And um, I am very thankful for that uh, experience. Um, not only does HPAC provide um, like com students in our uh, community with uh, what they, the resources they need, but they also provide them with opportunities and experiences. And Camp Sankity is one of them. Um, I see Paul here today, um, and I really, really want to thank you. I remember that day that you uh, took me out. We went shopping. You bought me a golf uh, uh, a textbook on how to play golf since I didn't know anything about caddying. And that was one of the moments that really changed my life and showed me that I was really going to do this and I was going to go to an island and learn how to caddy. So thank you for that. <laughs> um, I also, just getting involved. <laughs> yeah, give it a two. Um, so, like as you can see, um, the Hunts Point Alliance is doing exceptional work in our community, and it's work that we definitely need. Um, and in a moment, you are all going to get the opportunity to um, basically um, continue the work that they're doing and help give uh, HPAC the resources that they need. 
to succeed. Um, HPAC is not only just changing our community, but they are building hope, creating hope and a better future for the students that are there. So thank you very much and um, thank you for being here. <laughs> Please make some noise for Michael. More noise, more noise, more noise! It's awesome. Seeing young, the, this young man's face, I'm like, is Judith your sister? Like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Families, y'all, if we don't know one of them, we know some of them, right? If it's not their, somebody, it's their younger siblings, we welcome all the families and they all end up making their way through our doors and it's such a beautiful thing. So it's so dope to see you shining. I can't wait to see what you do next. Um, thank you, Michael. So I hope you all have been inspired by all the incredible work that you've seen today, not only from our scholars, but from our staff as well. Um, and as well as our, and our students and families, yeah? We will continue our commitment to our families and our community with your ongoing support, okay? If you can hear my voice, clap once. If you can hear my voice, clap twice. If you can hear my voice, pull out your wallets and purses <laughs> and your hearts. Because right now, it is time for us to transition into our paddle raise, right? Where we're going to be raising funds for our student scholarships and all of their opportunities um, to help keep making their worlds better places, yeah? Um, we need full participation so everybody can donate through your cell phones. Yeah, yeah, we took it there. Um, if you're looking at your paddles or your information, there's a QR code on them. You can actually pay today if you want to donate, right? Um, no excuses, just results, right? Um, and uh, if you need anything else, or if you're just not feeling the phone today, we will write down your name and information and we will find you. <laughs> no, we, we will contact you though really gently and kindly and uh, we will remind you about your generous support. Um, so please, uh, let's make some noise. If everybody can make some noise right now, that really help me out. People over here, encourage them to donate. Y'all encourage them. Hey, y'all encourage them to donate. Y'all know y'all not about to do Encourage them to donate over here. Thank you so much for that. Um, it goes without saying. I think myself, everybody else, is pretty moved, um, not only by our students, but of course the testimony of Michael here today to kind of really see what it looks like, right? I think uh, a lot of us, I know I work with seventh and eighth graders primarily, uh, some of us are working with younger uh, students, and it takes a long time to really see this moment, right? Uh, so to see it in the generations that have come before us and knowing that they will be a part of the generations that come after us is something that truly lifts me and I hope it lifts your spirit as well. Um, so to help raise funds for the next wave of scholarships. We have a couple of tiers for you, right? We're gonna start with our 10K tier, 5K tier, 2500K, uh, 2500 um, tier, 1G tier, 500 tier, 100 tier. But let's start at the top, shall we? So if you want to, please raise your hand, even if you are going to uh, donate online, we would still like to acknowledge you and know um, that uh, you're a wonderful person for donating to our cause and for our events and our, for our students, okay? So first, our $10,000 supports a full year of tuition for a high school student at a private and um, parochial school, okay? 10,000, I had to ask Eli how to pronounce parochial earlier, by the way, so please. Give me some love on that one, I, 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 I skipped it over earlier, okay? Um, $10,000 supports a high school student for an entire year. Do I have $10,000? We have here, 0 0.99. We have 0 0.99. $10,000, one year of a, stu of a student's life. Very big, do I see another one? Do I see another one? Another $10,000 for our student's future. Going once. You know, it doesn't take much to be a leader. I tell my students this all the time. It takes one brave step to be a leader. Maybe you're in your seat and you're like, oh man, I'm just not sure. Maybe I, I, I wanted to go to the Canary Islands. Listen, it does a lot of help, right? And it takes nothing to be a leader and it's something you could take with yourself to the grave is what I always tell my students. Going twice for 10K. And we're moving on. Thank you all for that $10,000 and our one donation. Thank you so much. You are the one we've been waiting for. And here is our next group, right? $5,000 supports a semester of tuition at a private high school, right? Five, half a year of tuition, okay? Um, 
$5,000. Do I see somebody in the crowd interested? 147 right here. <laughs> Taking care. Can I see somebody match that to make it a whole year? Can I see somebody match that to make it a whole year? We have half a year for a student. Right there, 028, making it a whole year. Brilliant, thank you so much, thank you so much. Going once, looking for $5,000 for a semester for a, for a student. Going twice. I didn't forget about y'all over here, I'm looking. Three times, thank you, we're gonna make it to the next one. Yeah, man, round of applause for that. Um, I'm a poet, not a mathematician, but I think we're doing pretty well so far. Uh, our next uh, tier is 2500 and that supports technological needs for high school students. This is huge for us that we found out last year during the pandemic that we never know what can happen and we were uh, very quickly realizing how we had to adjust on the fly. Um, this kind of support will really help us with things like that in the future. Um, and. Uh, help our students as well. 2,500 for electronic support for our students. It's, yes, right here, 039, 073. Thank you all so much. This is to help them with uh, computers and whatever Wi-Fi needs they might need on road and on the internet. Is there anybody else? $2,500 to help out our students' electronical needs. Going once. Going twice. Would y'all like a, a, a laptop for high school? Or for, for high school, college? Would y'all like a laptop? Would that help in high school and college, yeah? It would help! It would help going twice! Moving on. Thank you all for that. Round of applause! Y'all know I like y'all. I just have to act angry. That's what I do to the students, too. It's like, I mean business, but I don't really mean business. Um, our next tier is $1,000, and that supports a full year of uniforms for high school students. Many of our high school students do attend uh, uh, private high schools, and they do have uh, um, uniform requirements, and it does create a burden on a lot of families, okay? And we see that in different patterns within our students. But that will definitely help them out. $1,000 to support a high school students' um, uniform. Right here, 100, 136, 150. 020, 022, 146, 031. Keep the noise coming. Something's working. Something's working. Thank you for that. 135 in the back. Keep the noise coming. 135. We got 136. It's destiny. 137, you're there. 137, let's get it. I'm not gonna juice 138. I know 138 went hiding like, <laughs> not me. Going once. This is for uniforms, $1,000 to help out student uniforms. Going twice. Round of applause for everybody who donated in that tier. Truly appreciate it. Our next tier is 500. It supports school books and supplies both very necessary for our students. $500 for school books and supplies. Now this should feel like Oprah, all right? The lower we get, all right? Let me, let me tell you, that's how it's structured, okay? 500, who is down to help a student with their, yes, let's go! 026, 023, 129, 101, 033, 032, Keep the noise coming. Going once. We're talking about books, y'all. Books, okay? This is an archaic form, right? We need to support this, all right? We might not, we might not be many books. Anybody else who wants to support $500 for students' books? Going twice? Big round of applause for everybody in the room. Appreciate that. Now, there ain't no $50 tier, okay? We'll shoot you to Venmo, that's it, right? But this is our last tier, it is our $100 tier. 
And this is for transportation and meals, which are a big deal for I know all of our staff knows that, right? We definitely could use transportation and meals for our students. We feed them whenever they come to our programming, right? Um, and we usually either by foot or by vehicle are, are moving them from place to place out of safety concerns for our students, right? We're doing that work, right? We would love your support. For $100 for transportation and meals for our students, is there anybody in here with a big enough heart? There we go. 049, keep the noise coming. Keep the noise coming. 049, 037, 035, 132 in the back, I see you. 025, 051, keep the noise coming. 133, keep the noise coming. 141, keep the noise coming. 144, keep the noise coming. Something about it, something about it. They want a round of applause too, it's addictive. Anybody else? Is that a raise? Don't get happy on me. You can't raise the paddle for fun. Oh, you already got it? 034, we already tracked it? I got, I mean, I, I took a break from y'all for a minute. 040 on this side. Make some noise this side for this side. <laughs> Going once. That's $100. Going once. $100 for our students' transportation and meals. Going twice. This is your last flipping opportunity to make a difference tonight, y'all. Y'all came here to the flipping Bronx Zoo, okay? This is your last opportunity, $100. Going twice. Oh, 31 right here, this is why we do the good work. Last call. Make some noise for everyone who donated this evening. We truly appreciate y'all. Uh, drum roll, please. Tonight, for the Hunt Point Alliance for Children and for all the students that we support, we have raised $33,000. Please make some noise for yourself. If there is still any confusion about payments, please see any HPAC staff. We will make sure to spell it out super clear because um, it's super necessary, right? The good work. Um, we are just almost about time and I have bullied my way into sharing a poem with you all. Is that okay? Now, I told you I worked for that as a co-director of the Storefront Ensemble and at the Storefront Ensemble, uh, we write work and we perform it, right? And a lot of the time, this is their first experience doing so. Um, so they're writing their first poems, their first scenes, um, and they're playing themselves. And a lot of the time, the students bring their worlds into our classroom, right? Their stories, um, their troubles, their fears, everything in between, right? We learn about who is getting bullied. We learn about who's dating who. We learned about who died in school the other day, right? Um, and this is all just the truth of life and facts about our students, uh, not only across the nation, but here at Hunts Point, right? Um, so uh, on the spirit of that and at the spirit of being moved by the moment and the tragedy at Ubalde School earlier and considering myself as a teacher and a server of young people, um, I've written a poem, but don't really know about, much about it yet, but I'm going to share it with y'all just because I don't know who else to share it to but y'all, okay? Um, but I truly appreciate everyone here for giving a part of themselves and giving a part of their hard earned livelihood for the students that we serve. Um, we see them every day. Um, and a lot of the times uh, they are very similar to the students who uh, lost their lives. Um, and so it's something about that that just makes me feel much gratitude uh, for the position that I'm in and the path that uh, God has put me on. So this uh, poem is called Picked Up. The dark brown doors to the playground are heavy behind my early arms. Without windows, we are used to holding small hands, so once in a while a teacher will help me push to find. If we hide, then maybe there is someone with their face in their hands. 
excited to see us. Here, we are all in the grade where we just can't miss school. Parents have dropped off all the happy and so much warranted expectation. If we wake up, then maybe there is someone who sings our heads heavy to the moon, who offers a sweet song in the morning the way they wake you. Someone who lives for the cute confusion all over our face, insisting on tightening my jaw through a yawn, we must still be waking up. Still growing. I arrive on a bus and the bus driver is my mother. I check to see if there is anyone who fell asleep in the back, who forgot their backpack. If we're late, then maybe gravity forgets too and the ground refuses to cooperate. We made it. And there is a party with empty hooks in the hall where we hang our heroes on our backpacks. We are ready for anything but stillness. Do you hear the bells of chocolate milk? My stomach is floating and we're tugging on the rainbow pinwheel parachute. All the early arms pulling each other and creating clouds. If I had a crayon for every time I felt like I was going to die at school, I wouldn't have many colors. And counting my Valentine's cards does not count. And using the bathroom when beefing did not count. And getting sent to the office definitely did not count. I came longing for a sticker. It would say, good job and I will have only practiced my sweetness. It would say excellent, and I will have only professed my favorite species of wild horse. It would say winner, and I will have only recited the process in which honey is made. It's like a golden beam of heaven in your chest. Like the time Jose Luis asked me to punch him in the arm with whatever God I had in me, and I did, and he winced older and I admired my strength. It was surprising, my early arms. Outside the heavy brown doors is the playground etched in painted circles, a three-point arc, homeroom gathering spots, yard markers, and an outfield that at one point became eternity. But we know what happens in the bright, beyond the heavy door, the recess, how the light screams like a friend telling you run from whoever is it and makes you wince with all the noise of laughter. The concrete smells like your mom's hair. The wood chips smell like rain. The door is open. All the kids pour out onto the brilliant playground and are scraping their knees on the sky. Early pickup, all of us picked up that afternoon by our parents, our teachers picked up, lifted, high into the air. Thank you so much for your time. My name is Carl Michael Iglesias. I want to quickly bring up one more time Natasha to the stage to have one final word before we leave. Thank you all for your time. It's been wonderful hosting y'all. Thank you, Carl. Thank you, Carl. I won't be long because we want to mix and mingle and enjoy the food and the drinks and each other. I just want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for coming out tonight and celebrating with us. We have more than surpassed our goal. Our goal was $150,000 and we're, I think we're at 185, 167. So thank you so much <laughs> for helping us to reach and surpass our, our fundraising goal. And without further ado, have a lovely night and enjoy the rest of the evening. So I did not put the show on. I could not have put the show on. I just started in the summer. There was a lot to learn. Um, but who helped to pull all of this together? We had a wonderful benefit committee. And the members of our benefit committee, you can just raise your hand. Tom, Melissa, Anna, Claudia, I just saw Claudia. Claudia, hi. Met by Matoya and Ivy. I mean, you're like, I, 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 yes. So that's the team responsible. If you're having, if you're having a great time, say yes. 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 That's why. <laughs> Next, I'd like to thank our 
sponsors, Nashley Morgan Stanley. Thank you, Deborah Montecari. Without her, Morgan Stanley would be one of our sponsors. Media Pop Communication. So without Tom, they wouldn't be a sponsor. So thank you, Tom. Thomas Malone. And Gail Bernie. Gail, where are you? So thank you so much, thank you so much. <laughs> and now you can go back to 